What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello, how are we? Happy whatever day of the week it is for you. I'm coming at you on a Friday. A fry, yay! Your girl has been waking up at 5.30, okay? Okay, Michael and I, he's making me get up at 5.30. He's like on some kick. Now, I'm not mad. So I went for a 6.30 a.m. walk with Millie and Bentley. It was lovely, got a little four mile walk in, and I'm getting my hair done. So I thought, what a better way to come back to YouTube and vlogging than changing my hair. So with that being said, do not forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and let's get started. I'm gonna take you throughout my day, and like, okay, this is what I'm feeling. I've always been brunette, except except for the time I was pink, okay? Um, with blonde. And I'm like, I'm gonna ask her her honest opinion. I really wanna go like a brown, like a strawberry brown, but I'm nervous it's not gonna look good. So I am gonna ask her her honest opinion and see what she says. So let's get started. Okay, are you ready for the reveal? Ta-da! Oh. I am extremely red but it's because of the toner. So she said as it washes, it'll be more like coppery natural. Um, I love it. She basically highlighted everything. I was telling her I was a little over the balayage look. I don't really like when it gets so clunky with like not having any blonde up here. So she gave me highlights and then she toned it with like this beautiful red. And I'm obsessed, it's just fun. It's like. You can't take your hair that seriously. And then she cut my hair. She cut actually quite a bit off, like that much off, that much off. And I told her, I said, you know, at the end of the day, hair grows back. If you think it'll be healthier, that's fine. So uh, I love it. I can't stop looking in the screen. So I'm sorry if I'm not focusing on you, but I was like, whoa. Um, so anyways, I'm home. That took me, I went at 10. It is 1.30. So I'm home and now I'm going to, I'm obsessed with paninis. So let's make a panini and get about our day. Okay, I just filmed a really cute transition video. So I put on a little lippy for it. I am obsessed with just using lip liner and that's it. <laughs> and like chapstick. But anyways, a panini a day keeps a doctor away. Just kidding. But I love paninis. And my mother and father-in-law got me a panini maker and I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. All right, I've got a meeting in 15. I, guys, I freaking love my paninis. And then I put chips in it. I actually posted on TikTok and people felt strongly about putting chips in their sandwiches. Check out my TikTok if you haven't. I've actually been hanging out there like the most. It's fun. I feel like TikTok, you can just like be silly and like nobody fucking cares. Excuse the language, but it's not that deep at the end of the day. Do you guys agree with that? Like, it's just silly. All right, this is what I do. Chips. Oh, yeah. And then a quanch. I feel like I lacked the chip on that. There you go. Hello, my beautiful friends. It is the next morning, and uh, I took off my eyelashes. I've lately been loving the no eyelashes. And I think I might just give up eyelashes. I haven't decided, but I'm heading to the gym. I wanted to show you an updated, updated leg day that I'm doing. I'm focusing more on just a progressive overload plan at the moment. Figured why not show you it? I've got my outfit on, not me. This is like, I'm gonna wear when I get to the gym. But Honor Active has like this halter bra that I freaking love. You know, I have a support link with them. And then this is like their effortless shorts. It makes your booty look phenomenal, okay? So if it's like day, I want my booty to look good. All right, let's head to the gym, do a little voiceover, be a good time. Can't boy like me. 
Sham. Oh, I'm a mirror ball. Who else is excited for uh, the, what is it? Tortured Poets Department? I'm excited. All right, hello. We've got a spicy leg day today. I am focusing on a progressive overload plan. What that simply means is I'm just gradually increasing the weight that I'm using. This is to avoid a plateau. There are times I focus on this and there are times I just intuitively lift. Um, I just personally wanted to work on this. So I'm starting off with sumo squats after I did about five minutes of just some warm ups. I am increasing my protein because of this, um, but honestly, at the end of the day, your workouts don't have to be that deep. If you have a solid foundation and a solid workout plan, you can get it done in 40 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever it may be. So I followed this with front squats. I just did a super set. After that, I went into another superset of RDLs. I don't love them on the Smith machine, but I was already claiming the Smith machine, so we were doing it. We try to make the best ability off of them. Um, and then I follow this by backward lunges, and I'm just using you know, a free weights barbell for that. It makes it a lot easier than having to like re-rack the Smith machine. I only do this if the gym's like not that busy though. So if I have room to take all of this equipment, perfect. If not, be aware of that. Don't be an equipment hogger, okay? Because that's my pet peeve. If you were to ask me what my least favorite exercise is, it would be backward lunges, 1000%. After these supersets, I actually did front squats one more time. Um, I just didn't record it. And then now I'm doing hip thrusts. I end on hip thrusts and then I do Stairmaster and sauna. And that's about my routine at the moment. Like I said, it's not that deep. I'm not doing an hour long leg day. I just want to fit it in um, and just focus on that muscle group. Good morning, it's been a couple days and I figured I would end this vlog with showing you my current obsession for coffee. Let me know if you guys try this. So you know the oat milk shaken brown espresso? I do a variation of it where it's just like a brown sugar oat milk latte. I just don't shake it, but I'm gonna show you. It tastes literally the same. Side note, we're transforming one of the guest bedrooms into Michael's office. It used to be blue and there was like rainbow lights. Do you remember this? So we're painting it. He's gonna put like wood pallets over here. It's gonna look really nice. Side note, look at my outfit. Gray suit, gray ombre. It's like a stormy, rainy day. And we just found another leak in our house. Love that for me. Okay, all you need is coffee. If you have espresso, like something that will make espresso shots even better. Um, but literally, brown sugar. Turn on your barista machine. A cute cup. And oat milk. That's all you need. I don't know if you guys know this, but a lot of coffee beans actually have mold in them. It's just, it's humid, the moisture. I think like an espresso has a lot of mold. Um, so my friend actually went, she went to a naturopath because she was having a lot of mold issues. And this is one thing that they recommended was this coffee, I guess, is really clean. Honestly, it tastes good to me. It's organic coffee called Life Boost. If that helps you, I have no idea, but just do your research on mold with coffee beans. It's quite interesting. Pat down the beans. This is where you don't want to go wrong, okay? As a barista myself back in the day, you always want to do the flavor, sugar, whatever it is first because the heat will help it dissolve. Otherwise, you're just going to have like grainy coffee. I don't know how much Starbucks puts in their oat milk shaken espresso. Plus, I don't think it's... I'm sure there's like more filler than just brown sugar. But I do just like... It's not drastic, it, it's still like a lot for sugar, but I like it sweet. And then you brew it, and as you brew it, you just make sure to like stir it around just to get the sugar dissolving. Get a fancy ice cube. This is always a struggle, I'm so close. There we go. Once you see it's dissolved, you wanna slowly plop an ice cube. Oh, that was not slow and it spilled all over me. I was doing so well. So now we've got the ice cube, the shot, the oat milk. Mix it with a straw. I always check the bottom to make sure there's no sugar still. There's like a bit, so I just keep stirring it. But do that before you put the ice in. That actually would be easier. It's just hard to have granulated sugar dissolve in cold water, milk, whatever it is. And there you have it. I'm not gonna lie, it's not as sweet 
as the one at Starbucks, but I don't know how much sugar they actually put in it. If you want, you could shake it. That's how it's a shaken brown sugar espresso. All right, well, this wraps up this vlog. Let me know if you like it. Ooh, let's do a code word. Okay, actually, no. Let's answer a question for a code word. So a code word on this channel just means you've made it to here, comment whatever it is that I say so we know you made it, okay? So instead, the question is, if you could bring one thing to an island, just one thing, can't be a person, can't be an animal, what would you bring? Survival mode, okay? I don't even know what I would bring. A water filter. <laughs> like, you know those ones that you can drink water and it's just like a little straw? I think it's in Hunger Games. That's what I'd bring. Oh, or fire. That would make more sense. Anyways, because you could boil water and it would be clean. Survivor. Anyways, I'm sorry I took a little sabbatical off of YouTube. I'm just trying to, honestly, I feel like I'm balancing all these platforms. And this year, I, guys, I literally was like, I'm going to get on TikTok because I was just enjoying it so much. So I've been really focusing on, oh my gosh, you guys, I've been picking up the zit, you can see, so lo siento. But I've been really focusing on that platform and like I've been having so much fun, but I feel like I'm forgetting about my other ones. So I promise you, I'll be back ready than ever. I have a Pilates video coming out soon, a whole month of me trying Pilates and reviewing it. But with that being said, do not forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you next time.